Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2008 Bluebird All-American. Now from the time that I'm making this video, we do have a few of these available. These are all West Coast ran buses and I'm excited to show them to you. Let's check it out. Uh, so as I said, 2008 Bluebird All-American. One really awesome part of this bus I want to show you guys is this little tiny sticker here. This is a Washington State Patrol safety inspection sticker for 2020, which means this year it did pass the uh, Washington State, State Patrol safety inspection. So that's a big deal. Pretty cool. means bus is ready to go. Uh, we're going to do the inside here first. Uh, coming on inside, we have an air-operated passenger entry door uh, with an emerald green uh, steps. Emerald, uh, emerald green uh, steps, white step nosing on the step treads there, green floor, ribbed aisleway, stepway, and we do have some grab bars coming on inside. <clears throat> Alright, uh, going over the driver area here from right to left, we have, uh, these are your buttons to activate the crossing arm and stop paddle. Uh, we do have an Allison automatic transmission shift pad, very easy, reverse neutral drive, and you can manually shift through gears that way. Uh, down here is all your heat, so main heat, foot warmer, defrost, and then all the rear heaters, all that stuff. Uh, up here, this bus is equipped with cruise control, so you know if you're uh, going on some overnight runs there, putting some long hours behind the driver's seat, you can throw that on, make it a little easier. Uh, this is equipped with tire chains. Uh, we have not confirmed that these work, but we do know that it, it is equipped. So the chains are uh, uh, underneath there, and there's the button for that. Uh, Eric's behind the camera. We're going to show you the miles here: 64,895 miles, which is extremely low for a Bluebird, especially a school bus. This has got a lot of life left in it, kind of a peach. Uh, high idle switch over here, and then all these are your dome lights for the back. Uh, doesn't have AC, but uh, these things actually work pretty dang well for keeping you cooled off if you if you tilt them towards you. Been on uh, quite a few runs in uh, some some hot places, and believe it or not, those do help. Uh, is equipped with powered mirrors, so for the for the top and the bottom mirrors on both sides. So left, top, bottom, and then right, top, bottom. Pretty cool. Uh, up here we got a PA system, so you can talk to the passengers in the back, and a Panasonic AM/FM CD stereo to play some tunes. And then it does have an external speaker switch. Sometimes that's just standard. There may or may not be a speaker on the front, but the switch is there. As far as the uh, driver's seat upholstery, it looks great. No big rips, cuts, tears, anything like that. Um, just normal, you know, iron tear, but there's no big foam chunk sticking out. Mm, looks great. Air driver's seat as well. All right, so uh, coming to the back here, this is a 78 passenger school bus, and that is three kids to a seat. Um, this is equipped, you'll notice it's got a green foresty theme here, uh, and that is uh, green vinyl seats, vinyl seat covers. And uh, you will notice that uh, these seat covers look great from first glance. A lot of times you'll see graffiti on the back or kids poking holes with pencils. Uh, none, none of that down here. Um, there's no big foam gap sticking out or there's a few patch holes here and there, but nothing too crazy. For uh, a lot of our customers or uh, people wanting to convert these into motorhomes, uh, so it being a rear engine, it also does have the rear door back here, which I know a lot of you guys like. And uh, it is 31 feet from the back here to the driver area, 40 feet all the way down and then it's a uh, six feet five inches tall so a lot of headroom i'm 5'11, six foot with my shoes on and i got a ton of room here so looking good uh we got some some roof hatches one in the back one in the front some speakers zigzagging their way down the aisle and then dome lights on the side all right and i think eric showed you the uh midship emergency exit door right there but uh if you didn't we'll we'll catch that on the way out and we'll come check out the outside. All right, Eric's going to show you the uh, front passenger side tire. It's a Firestone tire. So a uh, nice name brand there for you. How much do you uh, think is left on that? Yeah, that's got a pile of tread. He says it's got a pile of tread on that. <laughs> so that means a lot. Look at that. Yeah, that's 80%. He says 80%. On that front tire, if you had to guess. 
Then your little pan of the undercarriage, you'll notice not a rusty bus. Out here in the uh, Pacific Northwest, we do not use road salts, so our buses are not going to be rusted through. So always clean vehicles. Uh, well, one of the coolest features about this bus, pass through under four storage. So you do have two bays on each side and it goes all the way through. It's a pass through storage. So uh, you could uh, you could put football bags in there, uh, basketball stuff. And if you're a conversion, put your water tanks under there, you know, whatever you need. A lot of room. <laughs> All right, Under, another underneath shot there. There's the uh, rear passenger side tires, rear duals. Those are Bridgestones, and uh, those look pretty dang good as well. 1632. 1632. So 1630 seconds on those. Looks great. And uh, there's a hub meter on that, so you can see that. All right, uh, inside here we got your uh, slide out battery tray. So uh, it does slide all the way out in case you have to jump it or replace the batteries. Makes it real easy if you're a mechanic. Just pull it out and you can, instead of trying to work inside, you can pull it all outside. So pretty cool. All right, uh, Eric's gonna give you a nice pan of the uh, Cat C7. This, this is uh, powered by the C7 7.2 liter turbo diesel engine and a company with a Allison automatic transmission. Great combo. And uh, you'll see it looks pretty dang clean in there. Not a whole lot to complain about in the uh, in the engine area. I'm gonna give you a nice pan of underneath here. So uh, coming to the uh, driver's side, looks like we got some mix and match tires here. We got Firestones, Bridgestones, and now Michelin. So all name brand, but uh, different brands. But uh, these tires look great as well. Knee deep in tread. And the, the, these are the two bays for the other side for the uh, storage. There's the uh, midship emergency exit door on the driver's side. Good to know that that's there. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a little buzzer that goes off to tell the driver that that's open if it is. And uh, in the front here, we do have another Firestone tire on the front driver's side. Inside here is your nice electrical panel. It even has the uh, legend here to your left showing what everything does. Makes it super easy so that your mechanic doesn't have to use his test light for a few hours. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses on our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com.